Hey guys, so depression sucks. And if you're anything like me, you struggle with dealing with depression, getting over depression. Well, today we're going to be listening to some simple tricks to stop thinking negative thoughts and start living your life. You know, if you've watched my videos uh, for a little while now, you'll know that I'm fairly against these quick fixes. You know, change your life in a minute, beat depression in 60 seconds. Um, you know, to, to create lasting change, things take a bit of time. They do, okay? In this case, though, how to stop negative thinking, this one tip is really all I needed to do to really create lasting change in my thinking. This is uh, a little technique from Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, one of the therapists. I'm stealing all of, all of her ideas if she watches these videos. Oh, she's going to be pissed! This tip is so great for not only negative thinking, but have you ever had moments where you're daydreaming? Or you're just thinking about things that aren't necessarily negative, but just there's no purpose to it. Right? You're thinking of maybe a scenario of your in your past and you're like, oh, I wish I just did that differently. Let me think about that time in the past. Oh, okay. Let me go back there and I'm going to do something differently there. Or, oh, I now know what to say to that person. And I'm going to go back in my mind and, you know, alter that thought. Try to change the past through my thinking. Do you know what I mean? Have you ever, you know, wasted time doing this? Unwanted thinking? Well, me too! And negative thinking and unwanted thoughts are so debilitating and take up so much energy and are pointless most of the time. So here's the tip without uh, any more background here. It's just three words. That's all it is. When you're having a negative thought, a thought that you don't want in your brain, you're going to ask yourself this question. Okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Write this down. Is this useful? Simple. Now you're, you're thinking, Scott, how the heck can that question stop my negative thinking? Thanks for wasting my time, buddy. See ya in 2016. The point of asking yourself this question, guys, is to put you in the driver's seat of your mind. Okay, it puts you in control. When these negative thoughts are spinning and unwanted thoughts and you're just listening to them, you've invited them in, they're doing whatever they want in your brain, why do I keep doing this with my hand? You're allowing the thoughts to have power over you, both mentally and physically. When you ask that question, you are putting your brain in a vulnerable state. Vulnerable to you. So let's say... Let's say you are feeling a little depressed. You're feeling sad. Maybe you're feeling anxious, sorry for yourself. And you're feeling lonely. All right? You're feeling lonely. It happens. It happens. And your thoughts are like this. I feel so alone. I have no one to talk to. What am I doing with my life? What's wrong with me? I wish I had more friends. Ask yourself the question, when these things are happening, ask, okay, wait, are these thoughts useful right now? Are they useful? What's your obvious answer going to be? Of course they're not. What good is feeling sorry for yourself at that present moment? What good are these thoughts doing? They're just making you feel worse. So you ask yourself, is this useful? You say no, the thoughts will stop. Because you've asked yourself, there's no point. You have given yourself permission to stop the thoughts. What this also does is encourages you to take action. Guys, that's the biggest thing. So the thoughts aren't useful, I'm lonely, I'm lonely. So the thought's done, now what are you going to do about it to not be lonely anymore? 
You can really focus on the present moment when you don't have these negative thoughts stirring in your mind. Is this useful? These three words have changed my life, have created clarity in my mind. I invite you to try it. Thanks very much. Let me know if it works. Take care.